In this week's video, I share the tragic truth about Smiley's grave in Garland, Texas. But first, my name is Tui Snyder. I write books and give talks, and I do a lot of research. I love finding fun stuff and sharing it with others. So please take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Today, I reveal the truth about Smiley's grave in Garland, Texas. Smiley's grave is one of the many paranormal hotspots included in my travel guide to haunted places called Paranormal Texas. Mills Cemetery in Garland, Texas is a historic resting place where an infamous mass burial continues to spark false rumors and wild speculation. I'm talking about Smiley's grave, and if you live in North Texas, there's a good chance you've heard of it. Over the years, a lot of fantasy and conjecture has been woven into the facts surrounding Smiley's grave. So kick back while I share the tragic truth about Smiley's and whether or not it's haunted. The Smiley family headstone is not fancy, nor does it contain any mysterious symbols. It's a simple, rusticated style monument. What makes it unusual is that it's a mass grave. According to the headstone inscription, five members of the Smiley family died on the exact same day, May 9, 1927. While tragic, Smiley's grave is a good example of how urban legends sprout up to fill the gaps in known facts. I'm not sure when it started, but over the years, people began spreading a false story about a guy named Smiley who, unlike his cheery last name, was mean-spirited and violent. One day, after killing his entire family, Smiley hung himself. As the urban legend goes, even in death, Smiley still roams Mills Cemetery hunting for victims. In one version, people who lie down on Smiley's grave will feel his evil hands wrap around them as if trying to pull them into the dirt. In yet another version, if you stand on Smiley's grave at night, you will feel unsteady on your feet and a cold breeze will caress your ankles. Those are just a few of the many urban legends surrounding this grave site, but here are the facts. I found several news articles from the week of May 9, 1927. They report a tornado that hit North Texas in the middle of the night. With everyone sound asleep and no warning system in place, tragedy struck with deadly consequences. According to the Associated Press, a tornado swept through a neighborhood in Garland at 3.30 in the morning. Among the dead were Charles Smiley, his wife, and their daughter Lilith. Some folks were injured and transported to hospitals in Dallas, including a four-year-old named Margaret Smiley, who was not expected to live, and a 10-year-old named Greta Smiley, and two other children of Mr. and Mrs. Charles Smiley. I'm no math whiz, but the newspaper articles kind of make it sound like there were seven members of the Smiley family. With five of them buried in Mills Cemetery, that would leave two survivors, right? However, according to the Find a Grave website, five-year-old Dorrit Smiley was the only member of the family to survive this deadly tornado. Of course, if you'll notice, the birth date on his grave is 1920, which would have actually made Dorrit 7 in 1927. So some of the details here are still a bit fuzzy. I'll do more research and I'll share what I can find. For now, my main point is that it's time to clear the name of Charles Oscar Smiley. Was he a nice guy? Was he a jerk? I can't say. He most certainly did not, as so many people claim, kill his entire family. Does that mean this area is not haunted? On the contrary, over the years, people have reported eerie moans in Mills Cemetery and what sounds like people moving through the undergrowth, even when no one can be seen. It's also claimed that mysterious orbs dance through the trees, while a chilling breeze and the feeling of being watched are commonly reported here also. Many visitors simply report feeling an overwhelming sense of grief at the Smiley family grave. I haven't been on an official paranormal investigation at Smiley's grave, but I definitely felt uneasy there, as if unseen eyes were upon me. I kept looking around, but my husband and I were the only living humans, and this was in broad daylight. 
As for the deep feelings of grief people often report at Smiley's grave, that certainly makes sense to me, considering how swiftly the entire family was wiped out. Just don't blame Charles Oscar Smiley for something a tornado did. Before you go, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I post a new video each Sunday, but if you want more content now, drop by my website, which is just my name, tuisnyder.com, or read one of my books. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.